Welcome to a very short video discussing student engagement. I believe that student engagement is much easier than what we've been all thinking about. We just want to make sure that students can show us that they have um, engaged into our classroom activities. We can do that through seeing their attention, noticing their curiosity, their interest, if they're optimistic about something, and if they're having passion in it. Learning does improve when students are inquisitive, they're interested, and they are inspired. Now there are different types of student engagement, and we don't probably think about that. But there's intellectual, academic engagement that we can observe. There's definitely emotional, behavioral, physical. How about when students are actually moving and participating in activity? We can also look engaged social engagement as well as cultural and diverse engagement. For example, in a teacher-directed learning situation, teachers can look for, are students alert? Are they tracking with their eyes? Are they taking notes? Are they listening, asking questions, responding to questions, whole group, small group? Are they following requests of the instructor? And are they reacting, laughing, you know, shouting, participating, whatever it might be? In a student-directed learning model, are the students reading critically? You know, are they actually annotating things? Are they writing to learn, creating, planning, problem solving, discussing? Are they debating? Are they asking questions, performing or presenting? Um, exploring, explaining, evaluating, again, that material on the sheet that you can look over, but think about the situation that you're in. Where can you observe? Where can you show us that you are having student engagement happening in your classroom? It happens all the time. You need to take time to document it and really look around and see what percent of students are engaged, and can you document that engagement? Now, some ways that you could actually document engagement for example, is simply using Kahoot. People are doing it all the time. You can walk by a classroom and hear students shouting and the clickers going and people laughing. And you can, one, take a picture of that engagement or take a video of that. You could put the um, results of the Kahoot um, into a document and that could be your data that you're collecting. So even using Kahoot could be an example of students being engaged in your classroom. Another really interesting uh, tool that you could use is called the Wheel of Engagement. And as you can see, A through J, there are all these different types of ways that students are engaged. For example, the class spent part of the hour in partner group activities. Can you document that? Students used hands-on technology to enhance their learning. Can you document that? Uh, students were called on randomly instead of voluntarily throughout the class. The class was given time to self-reflect during the hour. Did they journal? Did they write those things down? Um, students were out of their chairs for at least one activity during the class. Students were presented with a media clipper, video, audio, internet, whatever. So if you're doing these spokes of the wheel of engagement, which I know we are, we just need to simply document it. For example, the next slide. So here's an example of that documentation. All the teacher did put the date and the time period, and I would put, you know, actual date, not just Tuesday, but filled in what part of the wheel of engagement those students were participating in. That is documenting that students were engaged. Here's some more examples. Maybe these are not students that are engaged, but just look at. These can be physical engagements. They can be emotional. Look it up in the far left corner. We definitely have emotional engagement. We have over on the right top corner, we have the use of technology and people being engaged. And at the bottom, well, at the bottom, I'm not really sure what that is, but definitely uh, an engaging activity. For example, the use of your camera and use of your video camera on your iPad is a great way to collect data on student engagement. On our far top corner, we have students standing, participating in an activity. Take a photo of it. It's an example of student engagement. At the bottom, we have students making something in class, example of student engagement. And on the far bottom right, it may look as though these students are bored, which is not student engagement, but in, act, in reality, they're actually doing an activity to relax before they give a presentation. Again, all examples, data, that are um, student engaged in an activity. Can you take a video of that? Can you take some camera shots of that? Absolutely. And all you need to do is document a date and when that was happening. Now, another way to get students um, 
data and find out just how engaged they are is to create a survey on SurveyMonkey. SurveyMonkey is a great tool. All you need is the link. Students can simply take the survey and then you can design the survey that you want. You know, are the students really engaged? Do they feel um, part of the class? You can ask them questions and get feedback on a unit or on maybe a chapter or a specific activity that you did in class or an actual project they completed. Have them just do a quick survey after the project or the unit or the assignment is over. Another way that you can also have students um, to just kind of find out if they're engaged, um, just take a look at some of these pictures. I mean, all you need to do is like ask them, can they teach what you just taught them? As we know, when you teach something, that's one of the highest levels of retainment. Um, and just saying, I can do it, or I can do this if I have help, or I simply can't do that. You can simply ask those questions to your students and find out and collect the data to find out if they can do those activities and shows academic engagement. So again, up on the top right corner too, um, it's a little bit more um, specific version, but are you able to collect data on those students being engaged? And nothing's better than asking the students themselves. When you are done and you actually have photos or a survey link with your data on there collected, um, maybe a Kahoot that shows um, examples of the questions and um, the results, then all you need to do is go into Moodle to where we have all your portfolios, click on your name, and upload whatever you may have um, into um, Moodle and into your portfolio, and now you have all kinds of examples of student engagement. Again, I'll be coming around and finding out if you need help, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and work with you on student engagement, but it's so much easier than what we're all thinking, because we do it all the time in the classroom. Can we get better at it? Sure. Is it okay if we watch students not be engaged? Well, over time, how long can we let them just sit there and not do something? But we can find out very simply um, and collect the data that we need to show student engagement for the new teacher evaluation um, state law.